ridiculous it is that everyone is convinced I am a liar. Thanks to you, Patrick, Nicholas, probably half of the hospital by now, and you, my mildly significant other. I cannot believe you don't believe me. I kind of like the sound of significant, but mildly that whole thing stop not it. so much. Stop. I am seriously pissed at you. You you took my silly joke that was meant to amuse Robin and turned it into this whole huge frame-up conspiracy that's probably going to help Lisa win. Okay, seriously? People's careers are at stake. If you can't deal with my process of logic and handling this the way I see best, then it is as far as we go. Uh, maybe it is because someone's life is at stake here, like Robin's. Maxie, hey. I just talked to Robin. She said that she didn't see a syringe in Lisa's hand. Did Robin tell you she was asleep and when she woke up, Lisa was running out the door? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, good. Then our stories match up. And Lisa was making a run for it. Patrick, I think that's a huge red flag. Okay, so I just left Steve's office. He stands by his decision to suspend Lisa, so that's what we're going to do. Good. Thank you. All right, I just hope we resolve this mess sooner than later. You could have resolved it if you had listened to the witness. Maxie, if you're right, we'll have proof. Hey. Oh, hi. Uh, thank you for letting me use your umbrella. Yeah, no problem. I thought you, were, uh, thought you were gone for the night. Yeah, well, I decided to pick up some review materials for my new duties on the ER. Thought I'd impress them all with my proficiency and my skills. All right. Okay. All right, good night. Good night. More office, don't you think, Spinelli? It is a welcome change from uh, Central Affairs, Samantha's uh, customary informality. Why is this happening? Well, you've been neglecting Sam. And I know life can get overwhelming, but you need to keep your priorities straight. She didn't get this from me. I didn't have to. It was clear you were lonely and you missed being with Jason. So, it's a nice big night. Where would this <laughs> uh, uh, Allow me to point point out the amenities. We have a uh, champagne chili. Okay. Thank you. Yes, of course. Um, our d'oeuvres are ready and awaiting consumption, uh, okay. and I've taken the liberty of compiling a list of um, romantic songs. Uh, my favorites. I hope they become your favorites as well. <laughs> and last but not least, here is a list of your approved romantic activities. Another list, just like Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yes, and it was a huge success, wasn't it? Um... Yes, it was. It was. Thank you very much, Molly. It's going to come in handy. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you, Molly. Molly, you're more than welcome. I think that's our cue to go. Quite so. Unsinkable Molly, may I drive you back to your lakeside abode? Of course. something up like this. I mean, if, if on that list it has, like, you have to read poetry and stuff poetry. like that, you can forget about no, it. You don't have to do any of that. It says right here that I am supposed to pour some champagne. Okay. And then I'm going to toast to your courage and your Jason, beauty. Jason, really, you have to work, so you can just forget about all this. No. I actually like this idea, but um, I'm going to have my own toast, and I just want you to know that I love you, and that I think you're so beautiful. Mm. Cheers to that. I never wanted you to have to know about any of this. And I wish I could have protected you from what happened. And I wish I could completely erase Alexander from my life. You can't stop punishing yourself. No, I, I can't. I'll never forgive myself. I've really screwed things up. Things happen for a reason. If, if none of that had happened, then we wouldn't be here together, right? I like you so much. 
like you so much that I lose myself. <laughs> we, we, we should just, you know, try to take this slow, right? Go on a date like we did in the beginning. You want to go on a date? Yeah, me? yeah, I like dates with you. It's fun. <laughs> Like when I first picked you up at the quarter man, remember, and AJ was there and he's giving me some stuff. Yeah, AJ hated you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he's a punk. What do you want me to do? I know, but I loved how everybody hated you. I love that you bought that car that day after you saw me and you pulled up to the quarter mains in it. I loved the way that car smelled. Is it the only thing you remember about mm -hmm. driving it? No, I love the way you pulled over me, uh, kissed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Why don't why don't we just try that again? You know, like go on a date, see how you know. Are you gonna pick me up from Jason's house for for a date? Yeah, pick you up. Will you go out with me again? next on the list. Well, we did the first five things. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just enjoy the rest of the night. You know, get out of these clothes. But Molly's gonna know if we quit. How? Because she's my little sister and I can't lie to her. Well, why don't we just go upstairs and take a quick break? I think we have to finish the rest of our list first. My brief relationship with Sonny is only one of many reasons why I would be interested in remaining in Port Charles. Do tell. Enlighten us as to the others. It's a lovely city. I came here to litigate, not to find love. You came here to litigate against Sonny Corinthos and then were filled by his dimples and tumbled into bed with him. Subtle much? She's just been through an ordeal. You know, show a little compassion, a little understanding. Uh, you know, Diane is right, to a point, but I have also developed a considerable amount of respect for both of you in the courtroom, and I would really enjoy working with you. Really? Yeah. The feeling's mutual. Yes, yes, very much agreed. However, I would advise you to re-examine your motives, because if you think you're gonna get another chance with Sonny Corinthos, it ain't gonna happen while Brenda Barrett's around. Take your admonition to heart. Perhaps this is all a bit premature anyway, so. Frankly, I think you would be very wise to take whatever transfer your bosses offered you because some distance from Sonny might mark a return to sanity and a much needed revival of your career. How can I tell you? I appreciate your honesty. Anytime. And now, I must leave. I must. Adjourn to my sexosaurus, who hopefully has a cozy fire waiting along with a hot toddy. We should return to pay. Next time. Joel said that. <laughs> I'm sorry about this whole fiasco with Sonny. Been there, done that. I have. And I survived. And you will too. You just need to dig deep, Claire, and find your pride. See, I need you. I need you. Oh, no. It's the only way you can stand in the rain. Yeah, that's 
this time. 